Welcome to my house where grandma mows the lawn. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is grandma mowing the lawn? And why am I not mowing the lawn? Well, today it's been raining all day. And so, of course, I'm not gonna mow the lawn in the rain. But she got bored and decided to mow the lawn. And the next thing I know, the lawn mower is running. So I decided to grab the camera and show grandma mowing the lawn. So let me show you my garden. These are my papaya trees growing behind this was my door to my chicken coop over there see and the chicken coop was much much higher it went way way up but we just dis disassembled it and we've been using the wire along our garden here like this so we have we have a ginger right there and I'm not sure what's growing in here this is where they have been planting but those big plants are my papayas and then here here is my banana plants and that's another different variety of banana and I got some tomatoes down there and of course we have papayas over here. This little tree right here. That is mountain apple. I planted it from a seed two years ago. And it's just been growing. So I'll just show you a better view. So of course, I have plants down here, and uh, this is a de decorative banana plant. It grows and creates uh, bananas that are pink, uh, yellow on the inside, but pink on the outside, and they're full of seeds. And you can eat them, but they'll just be small, only you know two or three inches. So they should grow at, at some point, maybe in about um, six months or so. And then, then of course I've got my steps down. And now just adjusting my camera here. All right. So this is the mountain apple. And of course we have tomatoes and we have eggplant and we have some kind of a squash but that may be no there's a eggplant down in there we have a cabbage and we have some pepper plants here um, then I've got these are um, eggplant here and uh, this is a okra and we have a pineapple that's hiding down inside there and of course these are all okras that is a lemon tree right there and we have an okra way over there and this is the marigold tree this used to be very very tall 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 but it finally somebody came and cut it down and then of course it grows right back again from the stump which that's nice because it was too tall and the limbs were breaking so this is normally where we get our papayas so you can see the big papayas there there and if they're hanging over close enough we can grab them from our neighbor's yard they don't mind they don't eat them so we use them and if they're super duper duper ripe i think they're a little bit sweet 
Um, otherwise, we only use them for ch like chicken papaya or like shred it and make it a pickled pickled papaya. And down here, there is a pomelo. It was a tree, small kind tree, but then um, we cut it back because it was always cutting you as you went by because it has thorns. And then we have some bitter melon here is a bitter melon and uh so we have our little cage with an old flagpole there and we have many things growing i had some watermelons um and they were doing okay and i got three or four watermelons out of a couple of plants but they were very very small i was very disappointed i thought it was going to be a big watermelon so and then Of course, we have our little cage here that runs around. This kind of contains the bitter melon and the watermelon when it grows. So it kind of grows in one area. Uh, it'll grow up the bushes too. And so this, again, this is my, this is my banana plant. And um, our neighbor from there gave me this banana pup. It was much, much smaller. And this banana pup and this one struggled for a long time because it did not have a lot of root roots with it when we took it from the the main root but this one had plenty so it took off so this one will probably put on some bananas in about um, seven months or eight months maybe this one same sometime around this time next year and then of course there's grandma over there mowing the lawn still <clears throat> here is of course we're growing a bit of lemongrass this is like some kind of a buffalo grass and it has thorns all in it so you got to be very careful with that stuff and i cut it back every time but it comes back and then um under here it is hard to see but under here these plants here this is lilikoi or passion fruit slowly by slowly growing and we put it this cage so that it will make a spot for the little koi to grow and there are two plants down there but they're just kind of hidden they're hidden down here because the chickens come and they scratch 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 and they tear up the ground so we try to bury them and then these are all normal plants from the that we had in the yard and then of course all these are all big banana plants so you can see there's some bananas growing there and some bananas growing there but they grow lots of bananas here here's some right here as well you can see very pretty bananas We did have some plants growing right here, but um, they died. And then of course, these are our tea, tea leaf plants. And uh, you can make the tea lays out of these. We come through here once in a while and pull all the yellow ones, but. And here is Keanu. Keanu boy. Say hi. Say hi, buddy. Johnny, come on. Oh, not quite confident to walk yet. I know you're all you're all thinking I'm a terrible person for making grandma mow the lawn. I'm really not, I promise. She wants to do it. This is my backyard. Over here, we always hang out back here when it's hot because the sun sets over there and makes the front of the house like super hot. So. This is the cool area when we set this little tent back up and it's starting to rot and get 
very tired, so we'll, we will have to replace it soon, I think. But we uh, they ran some lights back here, and see, it's already teared. So it's kind of a ruin, but that's okay. We have our lights, and they're all waterproof outside LED lights. And so um, now that this has holes in it, we'll just have to take it down. But usually it's dry back here, and we can hang out in our even even if it's raining, which is nice. And then we grill out back here. And then of course, there's my chicken coop. I need to take it down. We we raised about uh, five chickens from chicks. They're wild chickens. We uh, captured them and then fed them out for about 90 days and then um, we slaughtered them. They weren't making any eggs and even with lay feed they just didn't make eggs. I think the mama chicken was laying a couple eggs but super very very small. Only like the size of a quart, quarter. Very small. So and then of course my neighbor my neighbor's got the a uh, super great garden you can see and that's that's nice because <clears throat> sometimes they give us some of their fruits and this one here has these great beans like they look like this and those are very tasty you don't eat the outside just eat the inside and then of course they have some eggplant we're growing eggplant i showed you that before and then they have bitter melon and they have green beans and they have um cucumbers and things and we got our banana plants from way over there um, and then of course he also has this really great tree this is an uh like a tangerine or an orange tree and they grows these amazing fruits and right now it's um, they're all green so we'll wait and then they'll grow and then that plant over there is a pomelo you see the many 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 fruits on it this is my container garden it, it did okay it's not that great um, I found that the onions we did in here were the best and then um, the green beans that I had they didn't do anything but the ginger took off real well this one over here is a turmeric. We planted it in the rock there, and that should be nice. I know what you're thinking, this is all trashy, but it's not. I have all my old Jeep parts, and then that's all recycling. We can recycle all of our plastics, save the environment. And then we store all of our chairs under here, under the eave. And um, so, so there's the pomelo. This is my very sad tomato plant i need to pull them up in the middle here is a pepper plant and um it just came up i think it's a thai chili so i'm hoping that it'll come up and make a good plant this is red okra and i grew them in pots from a seed and then i put them in the ground but the grass took over you can see the grass took over and then and i had several in a row right through here but only only those two actually made it and they started making fruits and i just they're kind of big now and tough and woody so we'll probably save the seeds but um here's more papaya i need to plant these out because they should they would be as big as my other papaya plants if i had to add them outside the pot but they're stunted because they're in a pot this is a kumquat from a seed too actually and um this is dragon fruit dragon fruit and this is a funny plant that Ruby uh, has been growing. I'm not sure what this is. This, uh, oh, this is papaya. This one's papaya, but these ones here is it's like a vegetable. This is a Filipino sweet pepper, and they they turn various colors, very pretty. And then we have this one here, and it's got a it's got a few peppers on it. All right right there is the one but it um it's more hot and then of course we have our another row this was supposed to be herbs and none of the herbs came up i think um some herbs are starting to but i ended up putting some tomatoes in it and then 
they grew stunted but they created some tiny tomatoes and of course they fell off and they'll they'll probably dry up and make more tomatoes here is more lemongrass uh, this is a soursop tree my favorite I love soursop I am not sure what that one is this one is a Hawaiian chili pepper this is very small small peppers there they'll grow bigger about um, half an inch maybe an inch long and that's it um, this I'm not sure what it is this is a lime a, a dwarf lime and will eventually put on but right now it's just very small and uh, rosemary 